Once again, we are at our daily bread. This is the first time I've read these, so like I said, I do not endorse this or whatever. Seems pretty good so far. I'm only disagree with a couple of things, but let's see here. Powerful and loving. This is inspired out of Deuteronomy 4. <clears throat> you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain while it blazed with fire to the very heavens with black clouds and deep darkness. In 2020, <coughs> excuse me, in 2020, the Ecuadorian volcano Sangay erupted. The BBC described the dark ash plume, which reached a height of more than 12,000 12, meters. I think that's what that says. The discharge covered four provinces, about, uh, about 198,000 acres, in gray ash and grimy soot. <laughs> <clears throat> the sky turned dingy and grim, and the air was thick, making it difficult to breathe. Farmer Feliciano Inga, Farmer Feliciano Inga described the unnerving scene to El Comercio newspaper. I'm having a heck of a time here. Farmer Feliciano Inga described the unnerving scene to El Comercio newspaper. We didn't know where all the dust was coming from. We saw the sky go dark and grew afraid. The Israelites experienced a similar fear at the base of Mount Sinai as they stood at the foot of the mountain while it blazed with fire. With, <coughs> with black clouds and deep darkness. That's Deuteronomy 4. God's voice thundered. <coughs> and I'm trying to shake this stupid COVID thing. <clears throat> Just a lingering head cold. Uh, grateful it wasn't worse. In black clouds and deep darkness, God's voice thundered and the people trembled. It was terrifying. It's an awesome, knee-buckling experience to encounter the living God. That it is. Then the Lord spoke, and they heard the sound of words but saw no form. The voice that... <laughs> That rattled their bones, provided life and hope. God gave Israel the Ten Commandments and renewed his covenant with them. The voice from the dark cloud caused them to quake, but also wooed and loved them with tenacity. God is powerful beyond our reach, even startling, and yet he's also <coughs> full of love, always reaching out to us. <coughs> Excuse me, this might not have been a good idea. A God both powerful and loving, this is who we desperately need. When has an encounter with God made you tremble? How did he also communicate love? God, at times I've approached you too casually, assumed too much. Thank you for your patience with me, and thank you for your love. <coughs> I will point something out. Um... Every time in the Bible, most times in the Bible, especially the New Testament, when they encountered God, not Jesus, God, you heard God's voice from above, this is my son, blah, blah, this kind of thing. <clears throat> they cowered in fear. They were scared to death. Uh, they always talk about it. They just they hit, they hit the ground, went prostrate, and just, you know, you know, you know please don't end me. <laughs> um and I'm not saying that was, that's just, it states in the Bible. It seemed as though it were a, I hate to say a terrifying experience, but you could tell they were terrified. This, this is extremely, the reverence that they had. They knew who they were dealing with. Um, and so I have to think, <coughs> they didn't have this lovey-dovey Santa, uh, Santa Claus kind of God thing going on. Like we have today. A lot of people, you know, I'm not saying God isn't loving, um, and all this, but the um, people always take it wrong when I talk about this. <clears throat> My experience of the testimony that I no longer talk about <laughs> was very much like that. 
it was not a pleasant experience. But, it was, you know, we'll slap upside the head. And I think a lot of times, sometimes I think deep down, maybe I'm, I'm, uh, might be praying kind of half-heartedly or, or not so much. You know, people say they're always trying to seek his face. Honestly, I'm not. It scared the daylights out of me. Okay, so it's, <laughs> I think some, some people will, uh, might appreciate that, that, yeah, you'd want, you know, you want God and the Holy Spirit in your life and all that. <clears throat> same time you kind of might want to keep a little you might you might feel a lot of fear that maybe a little distance is good and i can really relate to the people <clears throat> when moses came down and when they sent him up they say you you you, you go talk to him i can relate to that i really can I'm not saying that's right or anything but i can really relate to that um you know i might have heard something once but not really excited to hear it again i'll be perfectly honest with you <clears throat> Anyhow, it's it, it, I can't remember. I don't know what sits it was here, but um, yeah, God's voice thundered, and the people trembled. It was terrifying. It's an awesome knee-buckling experience to encounter the living God. Amen. Love you. God bless.